A group of about 50 people broke through defences on Poland's border with Belarus on Saturday and entered near the Villa Starzina, Polish police have said, as the situation on the frontier becomes decreasingly tense. Thousands of settlers, numerous of them deportees, have travelled to Belarus in the stopgap of crossing into the European Union, only to find themselves trapped on the border. The EU has indicted Minsk of orchestrating the extremity to put pressure on the bloc over warrants assessed by Brussels, but Belarus has constantly denied this. Some countries in the region have advised that the standoff could escalate into a military conflict. History, before 5 p.m., about 50 people broke into Poland near Starzyna, police said on Twitter. All of the people were caught by Polish uniformed services and brought back to the border, a border guard prophet told the Polish state news agency PAP. In total, the Polish border guard agency said there were 223 attempts on Saturday to immorally cross the border and that it anticipated another big attempt. The police also said the helmet of an officer serving at the border was damaged after a gravestone was thrown at him. The prophet for Poland's security services, Stanislaw Zarin, wrote on Twitter on Sunday about reports of exchanges carrying monuments and debris from Belarusian construction companies to areas near the border. EU foreign ministers are to widen warrants on Belarus on Monday to include airlines and trip agencies that are allowed to have been involved in bringing settlers to the bloc's border, said the EU's foreign policy chief, Josep Borrell. Two diplomats said on Thursday that the EU is considering assessing warrants on Belarus's main field in a shot to make it more delicate for airlines to bring in settlers. We'll give the green light to extending the legal frame of our warrants against Belarus so that it can be applied to everyone who participates in smuggling settlers to this country, Borel told the French Weekend Review Le Journal du Dimanche. He added that directors at airlines and trip agencies could be hit with trip bans and asset freezes in the EU. About 30 Belarusian government officers allowed to be involved in the extremity could also be targeted with warrants, Borel said. The Belarusian chairman, Alexander Lukashenko, who's formerly under transnational warrants for cracking down on demurrers, has hovered to avenge against any new measures, including by shutting down the conveyance of natural gas.